<laughs> I haven't done a, a DWM myself. I'm just curious why that one over something like I3, Awesome, BSPWM, Qtile, I don't know, anything else. Well, it makes sense when you take a look at um, my history, because I mentioned I like compiling software and I develop in C. Mm -hmm. And so it only makes sense that I would gravitate towards DWM because mm -hmm. it's it's simple. I get to manage with the C code. I get to compile it myself. Mm -hmm. And it's a small project. I know it's getting installed by it, like almost to every single file. Mm -hmm. And so it's just natural that I like the flexibility of it and how simple it is. Mm -hmm. I managed to strip out parts of DWM that I just don't need, like floating floating tiles that's okay. so you just and remove so the floating system and entirely. so i just yeah because it's it's a nightmare to deal with because i i don't know what causes it but sometimes dwm just ma makes it so the window only takes up the top left screen estate even when all of the estate is entirely free yeah, and so I don't awesome know has the exact why same it did it. Awesome, and so the uh, way I fixed it that. is just yeah. by... And so the way that I fixed it is just remove the tiling system entirely. I uh, remove the floating system? Because then what it do you never... Mean? Or do we... Yeah. You said the floating system, yeah. 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 Okay, because you said remove the tiling system. The, not tiling system, the, the floating system. <laughs> right, yeah. right, okay, okay. I was confused because for a because s some some application I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It it just makes it so DWOM switches to the the floating system, mm -hmm. and it makes no sense why it right. just does it. Right, right. Do you have? And so if you oh, remove God. it, then it doesn't need it. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, do you have like uh, a bunch of D a DWM patches installed, or are you one of those people who like to run it fairly clean? I I do have patches, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I forgot which ones I actually <laughs> applied though. Okay. <laughs> I, I I just know I just know one of the main ones was the window gaps. Ah, yes, very important. Because because I. <laughs> the part part of my arch rising self hasn't left my LFS <laughs> self, you know. God, S a... Some of it stays. I f always forget how many DWM patches there are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, there's a ton, but a lot of them I just don't need. Yeah, there's like five and different plus versions patching. Of yeah, plus, after you patch once, mm -hmm. then patching yourself is an absolute nightmare. Because yep. the, the diffs are completely off. Yeah, I have a um a ST build that was interesting to get working the first time. And now I don't touch it. Oh my god, don't... Don't mention ST and patches. That that was a nightmare. D-menu was also... Well, D-menu is a lot simpler, it... but even D-menu was a problem. I remember spending a good hour or two trying to patch ST, <laughs> and I finally got it to a usable state, and now I use ST, but it took about two hours just to patch it, because all the diffs were off. Yep. Yep. I... Because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to know what the code does. If I don't use... Yeah. You're saying I don't use what was that? I I don't. I I don't use uh D menu though. I I I use Rofi. Oh, oh okay. Is is just because you just like more? <laughs> did, did I or... did I upset you? No, I use a completely different program now called Toffee, which works much nicer on Wayland. Um, D menu. Oh, I see. It, it's um, basically use... a clone of uh. Uh, it's a clone of D menu, but it has a uh, Rofi name. Don't ask why. 
Yeah, I just use Rofi because I just like how it goes in the middle and I can just type it. I I don't like having a bar mm -hmm. at all. I actually really hate bars because it takes up screen estate for no good reason. Because I, I don't need to immediately know the time or battery usage. Oh, or so you, RAM you don't have a bar whatsoever. If I was interested, I just... No, if if I wanted to know any information, I just open a new terminal and go to whatever application that tells me what the um <laughs> information I need is. <laughs> and so I just I just have a hundred percent screen estate. So when you check the time, do you just run the time command? Or whatever what is it called? What's oh, the, the command to check the what, some um, it's it's date. Date, sorry, not. But time. um, if I check the time, if I check the time, sometimes I literally just go into my Discord tab and check what the latest message I sent was, <laughs> or I send a new message. You send a. New... But if. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there. Or are I just like check my phone because this. it's literally right next to me. Well, yeah, I, I do. I do have a phone right next to me, so right. I can just power it on, check the time, and then turn it back off. And then, you know, it isn't as big of a waste of time as you think it is. And I think it's just better than having a bar that literally just says the time. Have you considered buying a clock? Just put it on your wall. That's a good point. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Clocks are bloat. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm not surprised you don't use a bar, but it does amuse me. So, you just have a... Like, I, I get... Go on. I, I get why people... Mm -hmm. I go... I get why people have a bar and why they depend on it because mm -hmm. like you you will want another time you will want to you know your battery usage sure. what apps are like for example you have obs that having the recording indication mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know like you you want to know that stuff but personally i don't need it mm -hmm. and so why have it why have it? Why have it indeed? Um, yeah. Do you have a wallpaper? Oh, I do. Okay. Okay. We just had to check. Just, just, just had to make sure. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <clears throat> I, I don't have a fair command in my X and RC. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I don't use fair. It's bloat. I wouldn't look if you told me you just had a black screen unless you opened an application. At this point, it just it wouldn't surprise me. Again, it would not surprise me. In fact, using the compositor is slow. Just use the window manager. That's true. That's true. So what? Who needs uh, Pycom? Yeah, I, I actually didn't have Pycom. I. I didn't have Pycom installed towards the end of using X11. I was having... I don't even remember why I got rid of it, actually. I I think I was having issues... Like, there was, like, weird capture issues. And I just was like, get rid of it, bye. I don't care. Um, but <clears throat> as, like, a as like a general rundown, like, what, what software do you run? So you've already mentioned DWM. You've mentioned... Uh, ST and you mentioned Firefox. Those are obviously like some big applications, but what else do you have on your system? You mentioned uh, Discord and Steam as well, obviously. Um, but any other notable things that um, people might want to know about? I run Disc Discord and the browser. Oh, I am literally that makes sense. just using. Yeah. I I'm literally doing this call in the Discord browser, uh, but um. Not the Discord browser, but yeah, the, browser. the browser version yeah, yeah. in Firefox. Mm -hmm. Um, I also use Wine and I use Steam. Sure, yeah, those sort of go hand in hand. Um, in the past, 
in the past, I actually used Steam Proton to want, launch my Windows applications mm -hmm. because why would I install another application mm -hmm. to run Windows applications if Proton works just fine? But um, I, I really love teaching people and to show, hey, if you need this application, here's how to install it. Mm -hmm. That's what I like doing. And so I need to figure out a way to install Wine in order to teach how to do it. Mm -hmm. And so I had to install it. And so I went through that rabbit hole and I figured out a good way to do it. Um, but yeah, now I have Wine and Steam on my system. Mm -hmm. What else is notable? I also mentioned Moopin64+. Plus. I've installed a DS emulator yet, mm -hmm. but on my previous installation, I had Desmumi. Mm -hmm. I have Citra. I have Dolphin. The emulator, not the, the file manager. I just use the terminal. Mm -hmm. Do you use a uh, terminal file manager or um, just terminal commands? Just terminal commands. I just use LS and grep. Wait, do you, ha you don't have any file manager installed. You just use like LS, grep. CD, CP, RM. Yeah, yeah, just, just those. Yeah, I used to have Ranger, uh -huh. and Ranger worked pretty well. But eventually, I just stopped using Ranger, and just used terminal commands. Even if, even when I had Ranger on my system. This is another and why so situation. I just gravitated away. <clears throat> This is a very important why situation. I, I, I again, <laughs> what is normal to you might not be normal to other people. So, I, I don't know. It's just instinctive habits, I guess, of mm -hmm. just using simple terminal commands to do basic things. Mm -hmm. Because I've, because when you follow LFS, you just use these basic old commands to just do everything mm -hmm. and and there's just a simple it, it's simple mm -hmm. and so when i i don't know it's just doing very simple things to do very simple things right right okay okay <laughs> um what do you use as a uh, text editor? Vim. Okay. I I I, I did use NeoVim, mm -hmm. but um, I just have a few issues with NeoVim, mm -hmm. like the the default out of the box, I don't really like, and the plugins. I just I found it really difficult to set up. I found it a hassle, and it's just like. Why install all these plugins and stuff when Vim out of the box is just good enough for me? Sure. Do you use Vim as a programming like environment, just... or do you use something else? I don't really have a programming environment. I just, whenever I need to edit a C file, I just use Vim. And then I'll probably have some other terminals open up. Uh-huh. For example, like one terminal in the root directory of the project, and I can just do like cmake make to test results, mm -hmm. then do like a clean of that directory, then commit and push. Mm -hmm. So, but, um, you mentioned before working on a game engine. Did you write that with Vim without like using any like language plugins? Correct, it's just Vim, C, and um, Make at the time, but I developed, I made it so that it depends on C Make now, right, instead of right. using a Make file. <laughs> so, what? But yeah, it was just basic Vim uh -huh. and C. So, no, like, you know, nice language order completion stuff, just... Straight write everything by hand. Yep. <laughs> okay. Do you at least use syntax highlighting? 
Well, yeah, because it, it it's... Well, the way the configuration file is set up by LFS is mm -hmm. just good enough for me. Because they have their... When, when you set up Vim, then it has like, oh, configuring Vim, mm -hmm. do a Vim RC. But beyond that, it just kind of out of the box has syntax highlighting and that's that's it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, so... <laughs> so <laughs> You're a fascinating person. Um, I, I am learning, I'm learning a lot today. So you run DWM <laughs> NST, you program in a nineties programming environment, and you also play steam games with NVIDIA GPU. You're a fa very fascinating person.